some of our customers have really large data sets and we were starting to realize that the export command had its limitations. For example, once you started approaching the terabyte plus scale, export becomes unreliable. It's prone to stopping randomly and it always exports from the start. So there's no way of stopping an export and carrying on. You always have to start from the beginning, which means if you hit a failure, you'll always hit that failure. We introduced change feed exports as a way around this. So for clients with data sets of 10 terabytes plus, this works really nicely because the job can be paused and continue from where it left off. And because it's a job, you get a good amount of observability on it that you wouldn't normally get with an export. In this demo, I'll show you how to use change feeds to export data out of CockroachDB. Typically for data like this, you'll want to export to something like S3 or cloud storage. I'm gonna be using Kafka or Red Panda because it gives instantaneous feedback and it's great for a demo situation. First, I'll spin up a Red Panda instance. Next, I'll create a topic. We'll be working with orders, so my topic is called orders, and I'll consume from there. Next, I'll create a CockroachDB cluster. Like with the last change feed demo, I'm going to be using Cockroach Alpha, which can be downloaded from the website. I'll create a table, and I'll insert some data into it. Now I'll walk you through a couple of scenarios. You might want to do a one-off backup of data. You can do a selection of data using CDC queries, or you can back up a whole table without the predicate, the where filter in the statement, or you can create a schedule around your change feed, which will, on a recurring basis, trigger your change feed as a job that can be cancelled in its own right. So with this change feed, we'll create a one-off backup of the orders table. We're doing an initial scan only. There are three options for initial scan. First, there's initial scan only. This will publish everything to CDC and then stop as succeeded. The second mode is initial scan, yes. That will export everything to CDC and then listen for changes. So unlike only, it will carry on working. The final one is initial scan scan, no. That won't publish anything to CDC, but it will listen for updates. So this configuration will create a one-off change feed job. It will back up everything in the table as it currently exists now, and then it will stop and mark itself as having succeeded. If I run that now, we'll see that the two rows that I created in the table have been published to CDC. Next, I'll wrap a change feed in a schedule. With this, I'll output CDC notifications every time the schedule elapses, which at the moment is every minute, although you'll probably want to do it less frequently than that. If an error occurs during scheduling, we'll retry. And if the schedule detects that there's already something running, we'll skip it and try again later. Note that the initial scan only flag is required for this. If you omit it, CockroachDB will add it for you, but it's just to say that once the change feed for this particular iteration has succeeded, don't continue to listen for new messages. So with this running, we'll publish CSV messages for each of the lines in the orders table every minute. After a minute elapses, we'll see the two CSV lines representing the two rows in the orders table get published to CDC. And there we have the two CSV lines published onto CDC as expected. Every minute we'll get a new copy of the data. I'll stop that consumer. With this command, we'll see any running change feed schedules. So if I kick that off, we can see that we have one active job, which creates a change feed that sends to our orders channel, in the format of CSV and finishes when the scan is complete. Let's cancel that. To summarize, if your data set is within the realm of terabytes and upwards, you might find that the traditional export functionality doesn't work for you. In that case, you might be better off creating schedules around change feeds, which can work up to and beyond terabyte scale.